wasn't hours after this event that some politicians in Washington called for new gun legislation in the wake of the shootings. Congressman Henry Cuellar represents the state of Texas. He's a Democrat. He had an A-plus rating from the NRA. He joins us tonight uh, to assess this. So, Congressman, thanks for coming on. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. So, there's, we don't even know the basic answers to the questions of why this happened. It, does it seem a little premature to you to, to wade right into a complex debate like gun control within hours of this happening? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think we need to wade, let the uh, uh, first responders, let the law enforcement find out exactly what happened. Then we can have another debate. I mean, right now we pray for the families. We, uh, you know, we thank the uh, first responders for doing a good job, but they still got a lot of work because it's, you know, just listen to all those stories. It just doesn't make sense. He doesn't fit the pattern of somebody that would, uh, uh, would do something like like this, especially somebody at that particular age. So you grew up on a ranch in Texas hunting. You must have been surrounded by guns because ranches are filled with guns. I learned at a very young age uh, from my father how to hunt. Yeah. Uh, so did my brothers. In fact, I got three brothers that are peace officers. So we've been around guns from a very young age. And, and again, even if you take guns away, we know that somebody can kill somebody using an airplane, a knife, a truck. I mean, there's so many uh, a pressure uh, items. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I think we need to just let the, you know, let the uh, law enforcement do the work and let's do, we can always have time for a political debate. It's just when people come out immediately after an event like this without knowing any of the facts, it suggests to the rest of us that they've been kind of waiting for an opportunity to push a pre-existing agenda on the country, and it makes people really nervous. Can you see why? Well, you know, it, it, not that they're waiting for the next event, but I think it's, you know, we have had several events uh, in, in the past years, and I think uh, there are some people that believe in gun control. I believe I don't believe in gun control. I think, you know, you can have responsible people do the right thing with a gun, but unfortunately, sometimes you get a situation like this uh, that it's hard to explain, but just taking guns away from everybody is not going to solve the issue. Why do people keep saying that? I mean, can you think of a single place in the United States that has become safe because of gun control. No. Right. And I don't think anyone else can think of one either. So then why do people, people keep proposing it? Well, there's some people that just uh, feel that guns are the problem. Uh, but I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, I, you know, as you know, I don't believe that. Uh, I'm a big believer in the Second Amendment. But there are some people who feel that you got to take guns well, what, away. This is a totally non-political and sincere question. And I don't know the answer to it. There were no mass shootings when you were a kid. And there's one, University of Texas, Chuck Whitman, 1962. That, that, that's right. That's right. Who had a brain tumor. But they weren't a feature of American life. What's changed? What is going on, actually? I, I don't know. But again, you know, you got to look at every individual case and, and let's see what the, um, uh, what the investigators find out. I mean, there's got to be something. Let's see what happened in this particular case. Yeah. I, I just hope that we in the press aren't adding to it. It's something that we think about a lot. We don't want to be part of the problem. I mean, the stories I mean that. that we heard are just, I mean, it's incredible. They are incredible. It's incredible, incredibly sad. Thank you, Congressman. Thank Great you to see so you. much.